YouTube app monitoring. This is actually quite a big one, so I want to make sure I do this right. Uh, we have, obviously, many kids, my kids, your kids, YouTube, very, very popular, if Netflix not a very close second. So with YouTube, we can actually monitor the viewing history and the search terms used in the YouTube app, okay? Now, what's neat is this report right now is only available in my parent mode, okay? So my son's tablet, I go to the vice reports down here, okay? And here I have YouTube app history. Now, I don't have anything yet, so we're going to add some stuff. But you can say I can do vi videos viewed or searches, okay? Now, the first thing I want to do is I just want to go and open the YouTube app and play around and watch some videos and um, give you an idea of, of the history here. There's, there's YouTube. It really doesn't matter what we watch here. Let's see what's trending. Ba, 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 ba. I hate the emoji movie. Why not? Let's, let's watch this one for a bit. Of course, there's an ad. So you'll notice here one of the things with YouTube is some of the stuff on the right-hand side is where a lot of kids sometimes by accident click on the next movie, and it's on autoplay. And this is where inappropriate content, uh, you know, even something like this, very violent, jet ski moments, could result in, um, you know, a child seeing some bad videos. So that's the, the, one of the things I will show you how to enable and enforce in a bit. First thing I want to do is just show you the, the uh, history. So here we're going to go and do some searches. I don't want to search for you for search for some Minecraft videos. So Minecraft, that's one of my search terms, uh, and we'll do uh, you know sports just for fun here. Okay, so there we go. So even stuff like this, most embarrassing sports moments. I mean, there's videos that should not be seen by kids. Okay, but again, we don't have anything enabled on security yet. I just want to show you the um, monitoring of the app that we do. So to make this faster, I will actually just refresh my update status. So again, update status, you don't need to do this normally. I'm doing this for the demo right now so that the information is sent right away. So when I open my uh, parent app here, let me just get over here. Da, 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 da. Okay, so now I go back to my report. So my son's tablet's right here. Tap on the three dots, go to the vice reports, YouTube app history. There you go. So I viewed the, I hate the emoji movie at what time and all that, and the searches I made, sports and Minecraft, okay? So that's an example of what we can do. And up here, we have a little icon to change the length of time up to 30 days if you want to re review the whole history. By default, we show the last, I believe, two days, okay? So that's um, an example of the power of viewing the YouTube app history. Right now, as far as I'm aware, we are the only parental control app that does this like this. So world's first, okay? Uh, very, very powerful, very, very cool, and finally giving parents insight into an app that all of our kids use a lot. Now, not all of it is bad, so I don't want to take a uh, you know big fear approach here, but I want to show you a tip on how to enforce some security, some restricted restrictions in the YouTube app, okay? So up here, let me get out of the search here. Okay, go library. So here I go to settings okay so again typically you tap on your icon at the top right and then you'll go down and settings is usually where you need to go there are two things i recommend parents disabling at this point okay the first thing is turn off autoplay okay that way you know videos are not going to keep playing end endlessly uh, which is one of the you know the binge watching issues we have in our generation now uh, adults too let's be honest and the other one I want to enable is this thing down here called restricted mode. Okay, not merge for stats, this one. There we go. So restricted mode allows us to filter via Google's, um, you know, filters, inappropriate content. So anything that's been flagged uh, for inappropriate language, inappropriate content will not be seen. So the beautiful thing here is even the suggestions on the right-hand side will be cleaner. Okay, um, so this is a very, very powerful thing. But the catch is... Parents, you enable this, your child starts using the app, and he goes, hey, I can't watch the videos I used to watch, so they go into the settings and they turn it off, right? Well, not with our policy that we have here. So if I go to the web dashboard, okay, and I go back to my child's uh, tablet here, and I go to the YouTube tab, okay, you can see I also show the history in my YouTube tab here. I have this little checkbox called Block YouTube Settings Access. We will enable this now. 
because now we've actually enabled restricted mode and we are also turning off autoplay. So now I go back to my app. Once again, I'll do a, a forced refresh here to make sure that uh, everything's running. And I go to my all apps and I go to YouTube, okay? So YouTube home, it's all good. Now I tap on here, I go to settings and bang. We actually block access to the YouTube settings. So your child cannot turn off the autoplay or turn it back on and it cannot turn off the big important one, which is the restricted mode. So that's a very big one. There's no real easy you know, check boxes to do this with, though I would love your feedback on, would you love to see this be more upfront when you install the app? Because there may be ways that we can do this upfront uh, to make it easier for you. Right now you have to do it after the fact. So hopefully this video will help a lot of our users uh, on setting this up after.